A former wartime sexual slavery victim reiterated her call on Monday for holding the formal head of an advocate group tasked with helping victims accountable for alleged accounting malpractices. Lee Young Soo, a 92-year-old victim of the Japanese military sexual slavery during World War II, appeared in front of live cameras for a press conference held in the southeastern city of Daegu, where she lives. It was her first public appearance since May 7th, when she created a stir by publicly accusing Yoon of what she claimed are shady bookkeeping practices. According to Lee, the activist turned lawmaker elect Yoon Mi-hyang used each victims to raise funds and help promote the cause of the group, the Korean Council for Justice and Remembrance for the Issue of Military Sexual Slavery by Japan. Yoon had led the group for three decades until she won a parliamentary seat in the recent general elections. Lee claimed that the group sold out the victims in its fundraising campaigns and has never spent the funds and public donations for the victims. <laughs> 위안부를 이용해 가지고 했는 거는 도저히 용서 못 합니다. On top of that, Lee complained that the group mixed the so-called comfort woman issue with that of female forced laborers. She argued that the comfort woman issue should be handled independently from those of other women who were forced to work in Japanese factories during the war. She also urged the governments of South Korea and Japan to properly educate their children about what she and other victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery had to suffer. However, the group and Yoon denied the allegations. The group said its heart aches without giving a specific reaction to Lee's remarks. Rival political parties also reacted differently to this issue. Last week, prosecutors raided the main headquarters of the group in Western Seoul and other related facilities to secure accounting data in an apparent investigation into alleged embezzlement and poor accounting practices. While apologizing for causing pain to elderly victims and the supporters of the campaign, the council has denied suspicions and asked for an external audit of its financial management. Historians say up to 200,000 women from various countries, mostly Koreans, were forced into sexual servitude during the war. Now there are 18 surviving victims in South Korea.